everybody. How's it going out there today? Coming at you today on Corn Cob Tuesday. No corn cob today. I'm actually in between appointments. I uh, drove like the dickens to get this appointment because I thought I was going to be late and I had a uh, few minutes, so I'm going to get a quick Yapo and Yabo in here. So I got uh, a package and a box over here in the mail, so I threw them in my pickup on the way out the door and thought if I had time. And so I've got a few minutes before I have to go into this next appointment here, so I'm going to do a Yapo from Mr. Daniel Shore. You just can't get that guy to stop, can you? So I'd sent him, you know, he had said he was, um, I'm popping this open here. He said he was, you know, he collects everything. It sounds like he collects hats and uh, I noticed hats and uh, like matches, match books or little boxes or packages of max matches and stuff like that. And so, I had some sitting around, and actually when I moved from Dallas up here to the Tulsa area, I probably threw 50 or more hats away. Uh, too bad I didn't know Danny at the time. So I had some other hats, like some, some uh, an Oliva cigar hat laying around that I got at an Oliva event, and some Oliva matches I got at that event. Had like a Smoke In hat, I can't remember what the others, but I just threw some hats and a bunch of you know, different matches from some cigar shops and stuff in there, and so, Anyway, because of that, now he's got to send me this stuff. Now, he did say, I'm assuming that's what's in this box over here. He said he would send me a hat from, like, his shooting range. So, but this is tobacco samples here. Uh, and I'm not going to open up and smell every single one of these. When I have more time, I'm going to do a true the major pipe shake and sniff for you. But, and here is... Some Batman and Giz Scottish style, so that will be uh, that will be very good to try. English Oriental Supreme. I may have had some of this. I can't remember. I will go look and see. And I did not see a note in here. There's a little sticker here with my address on it. Uh, some McBaron Vanilla Loose Cut. I'm trying to find, I think Danny's kind of in the same boat, trying to find a vanilla that actually tastes like vanilla. Uh, I know Band of Briars did this one this morning, and it wasn't that great either. Uh, vanilla that was. I don't know what, I don't remember what kind it was, but uh, Sutler Fieldmaster in there. Sutler Academy in there. I think that's just his Balkan mix. So, I don't know whether somebody has mixed that or whether that comes from somebody that way. And I can't read this one, Daniel. It's like a flake. It looks like it says Best Brown Number 2. Best. I don't know. I'll go see what I can find on that. I've got to open one up got a I don't even know what kind of almost a little bit of a sweet smell I'm not for sure what that is I'll have to uh, I'll have to see what that is and oh there's Danny what'd you do this for there's a little uh, Missouri Meerschaum uh, uh, corn cob pipe looks like a little naked one Getting a little risque there Daniel sending me some naked stuff so and it's got the it's got an amber uh, stem in there. So again, I'm I'm not yeah I am I was gonna say I'm not trying to rush through this, but yeah I am trying to rush through this. But uh, I just wanted to be sure I get this done. Thank you very much, Daniel. I'm gonna get into this other box here. And there's another. Oh, there's yeah, and he said he was gonna send me get all the peanuts off of it. A hat. Uh, and I am a hat guy. Uh, this is the uh, San Leandro uh, rifle and pistol range. Oh, I can't wear it like that, though. My head's way too big for that. But yes, I have to be a hat guy because if I'm outside for a couple of seconds, I get sunburnt terribly bad. And so typically what I do when I've been outside working or something like that, and I'm all sweaty, 
I take my hat off and just throw it up there in my dash. And then when I get out, I put my hat back on, you know, kind of let, kind of let it air out and let it cool. So I will definitely wear that. That is not going to be a hang on the wall, hang on a hat rack. I'll wear that. Uh, whether I'm with whatever I'm doing, whether I'm working or out at the range, that's very cool. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate that. I'll do a next time I'm out the range, I'll do a video shooting video with my hat on. And then here is a now, hey, here's our note. Now, okay, Daniel, you got me confused here about this note. There is some tobacco in here. Let me read the note. Maybe Daniel can explain this. The note says, My boy Jaime, here are some tobacco samples I thought you might like. I was going to send this to another guy in the YouTube pipe community, but I thought you would appreciate it better. Thanks for being, thanks for being a great friend, your brother from another mother, Daniel. I'm just teasing you. <laughs> That's a uh, Cisco 76 note reading. <laughs> I'm just having fun with you. Um, it says, here is the hat. He says, I don't think you like aromatics much, but I wasn't sure. And it's not that I don't like aromatics. I'm still trying to find an aromatic that's, wow, that's got great, you know, flavor or something to it. So, but I keep trying them. And so, um, he says, you can pass on, pass, but you can pass them on if you don't want them, you know, thank you. So, no, thank you, Mr. Daniel Shore. And so, um, there's some 20 year old plum cake, which I know I love plum cake already. So it will be interesting to, uh, try some of that plum cake, uh, try some of my current, what I've got currently and try some of this, see if I can, you know what here, I know I'm, I'm watching over there and watching my clock and watching the video. Smells about the same from what I can remember, but I don't have them both there side by side. Uh, there's some Boswell's Pennsylvania Dutch treat. So that'll be my first Boswell, I think. I don't think I've tried any Boswell's before. There's another vanilla ice. I can't remember. The other was vanilla loose, loose cut, I think. Loose leaf, I don't remember. And then a Frog Morton Bayou. So I've never tried any of the Frog Morton. I've had a, a little bit of Frog Morton, just regular old Frog Morton. I've never had any by you. Smells pretty good though. So anyway, thank you very much, Daniel. I really do appreciate that. As everybody in the community knows, you're a great guy. Um, and a lot of these, I probably will try one or two bowls out and then I'll send them on. Maybe find somebody else who hasn't tried them or um, so. But uh, thank you very much, Danny. I do appreciate it. And as you know, you didn't have to do anything, but as everybody knows, you're not going to stop him. And everybody in the community is the same way. You're not going to stop anybody. They want to send you something, they're going to send you something. And so, that's, I mean, I love the community. I love the interaction we get, the comments back and forth, the videos back and forth. Uh, it's, it's a whole lot more, to me, it's a whole lot more personal interaction than like a forum, like a bulletin board online, which is what I used to do. And we would do cigar swaps and stuff like that, but uh, I think it's so much it's so much cooler to do the videos back and forth. And so thank you very much, Danny. I appreciate it. Uh, this extremely quick Yabo went uh, a little over nine minutes. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you next time.